Now, he's normally seen donning Wellington boots and helping to bring a garden back to life. But for his next project, Alan Titchmarsh is swapping his spade for the stage. Yeah, he's set to perform this weekend as part of ITV's all-star musicals. Before we find out more about the show, let, and you haven't seen any of this. No. Oh, right. Well, I haven't enjoy heard this. myself at all. I've, I, when they were doing little uh, recordings on their phone, when I, was, I said, I don't want to hear, I don't want to hear. So I've not heard myself at all. Oh, well, you oh, might this hear is the first now. Then. Yes. Here we go. Here we go. Who can explain it? Who can tell you why? Fools give you reasons wise men never try. Stop enchanting me. When you find your true love, when you feel her call, You go. You. What do you think? Oh, you got away with it. I yeah. Think you really did. Oh, you look a bit. You've got tears in well, your eyes. I don't think my heart has ever beat oh. so fast in my chest. It's breathe, breathe. Remember to breathe. Ignore the heart. Just do. I mean, you know, we spend our life presenting. We speak all the time. It's what we do. Yeah. But I've never sung a romantic song mm. before. I've I've done stage work where I've done patter songs and things, but never. I think a romantic you're so brave. I mean, I know. I mean, you do it. You're a brilliant singer, and you stand up there and do it. But I, I mean. It's so brave to take yourself out of your comfort zone. Well, it's a, well there's a weird like thing that. that happens that, that it, you know, yes, you stand up on stage and, you know, you can stand in front of two and a half thousand people and make a speech mm. and, or do an award ceremony or whatever. Um, but the minute it comes to singing, that's a whole different totally. vulnerability. And you're not expected to sing and you'd people say, oh, this will be, you know, and I'm sure I'll get a few, you know, stick to the day job, you know, don't throw the wellies away. But it was wonderfully exhilarating to do it on the stage of the London Palladium, which yeah. is why I did it. I've, I've not done any reality TV show. But I used to sing and I, I know I used to love it, yeah. but it's been 30 odd years since I've sung at all in public. And I thought, well, I know. And they kind of gave me back my singing voice, which is... It's such a lovely, you know, a lovely thing to, thing to, to, to get back. And you, was it, you met your wife, didn't you, through singing? In an operatic side, yeah, Alison danced. Um, you know, not you did Joseph, I remember, famously. You know, big, a big role, big songs. I just did Sir Joseph Porter in HMS Pinafore, Coco in the Mikado, that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, and when I was said what I was going to sing, my wife said... But that's romantic. Uh, well, thank you very much, dear. You know, <laughs> Forty odd years of marriage. There is, uh, there's also you do your rehearsal stuff in a rehearsal room to a piano, and mm. uh, and then you get out and then you sing for the first time ever with an orchestra. Which was and only on I the day. I stopped. I stopped when I but when I heard it for the first time. I thought that sounds so amazing. Oh God, I should be singing because <laughs> it sounded so incredible. So on yeah. the day you sang with a big orchestra. Yeah, we did. And my my run through was at 8.30 in the morning and I didn't go on until evening, until a quarter to ten. So I had all day to, to worry. But it was the, the camaraderie between the people who were doing, you know, Chesapeake Jones, yeah. Martin Lewis, great raft of us, Daniel Brocklebank, we were really all rooting for one another quite genuinely because it was a kind of common predicament. You and know? you've got um, John Barrowman, who's yeah. hosting it, and you've got Elaine Page. Well, Elaine mentor. was mentoring. Well, I was going to say, I mean, but between the two of them, yeah. I mean, they must have given you some amazing advice, didn't they? They did, and really useful stuff too, because you you produce a singing voice from a completely different place from where you produce a Well, I do, voice. to anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> <That's such> a... <laughs> uh, but it was a great experience. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And um, and do you feel like because it is a competition? Do you mm. feel that you are being competitive with no, not people remotely, there? only with yourself? Yeah. I just wanted to do a decent job. And that song, which most of you didn't, you didn't get, well, I this thing, it was all right, but it has one high note right at the end, which you've got to go for. Yep. It takes no prisoners, you know, never let her go, and right up there. So it was kind of, come on, we can do this. Yes. And then, and to have an audience of two and a half thousand people, bless them, willing you on. Yes, you know, which is yeah, lovely yeah, to have a supportive audience. Yeah. 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 And so is this sort of, I mean, it's been a while since you've done it. Is this going to continue now that you've found your voice again? Well, you I, like to no, continue I don't know. I mean, it was interesting. A lovely Mary King, who vocal coached me every week, and, and Elaine both said, you mustn't stop now. You really mm -hmm. must carry on singing. It's like a muscle. Once you start using it and putting it 
it, in, in trim again, it starts to get better and better. And Alexander better. Armstrong, Bradley Walsh, all very successful albums. Well, yes, but I don't think people are ready for an Alan Titchmarsh album. Are you Alan sure? Alan the album. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Well, you never know. <laughs> no, no, you do. So what about the telly then? I mean, is it is it your 50th um, Chelsea? Yeah, not year? presented. I don't present it anymore, yeah. but it's the 50th going time then. I've been. I first went to Chelsea in 1969 Did you as, a, as a student going to look. Oh. And then I presented the programmes for about 30 years. And the things that you are presenting, um, Secrets of National Trust, yep. Love Your Garden, so still, still yeah, those in there. Yeah, on. Love Your Garden's just been recommissioned um, oh, lovely. for another three series. So and you've got... Yeah. Am I right that you've got four grandchildren? I you? have. And so are you... Are they sort of keen in the garden? Do you take them out there? Are you trying to pass that on to them? They, there's no effort needed. They come round... Come on, outside, Grandpa. Come on, outside. And two boys, two girls, and they just love collecting eggs from chickens, yeah. picking raspberries and strawberries when they're in season, running around, you know, we've got a bit of land. See, so given the around. option, they would rather be outside doing that sort Totally, of thing, which is it? why I campaign madly to get schools to do things like forest schools, and just getting children to keep connected mm. with mm. the outdoors because they love it. And they're the future custodians of the landscape, not just gardens. Well, you said that someone came up to you and said, oh, Alan, please tell me how to stop my child eating dirt. And you said, don't stop. No, well, I said, she said, what can I do about my child eating soil? So I said, make sure he gets enough. <laughs> because they're antibodies, you know, we're so obsessed with bad bacteria. There are good bacteria. Without bacteria, our gut wouldn't work. How do you build up antibodies except by, as old Yorkshire saying, you'll eat more than a peck of muck before you die? Mm. Well, there's a degree of sense in that. It's building up antibodies. Mm. I don't mean don't wash your hands when you've been... Th no, of course, course you must. Course, course. But just being sensible and not being totally ridiculous. I think it's why we have so many allergies nowadays, because we've kind of lost the touch with nature. Yeah, you're probably right. Um, what we're talking about here, though, is All Star Musicals, and it's on a Sunday at 6pm on ITV. Yeah. Good luck. I can't wait to watch. Good luck. Thank you, Alan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>